All right, uh, here we go. We're gonna uh, tie my uh, biota merger this morning. We're gonna start out with a little um, a dot uh, gray thread. Just lay down a little bit base of thread down. Just start at the back of the eye of the hook and come down just a little ways. Uh, we're gonna tie in our uh, shuck material, which is a little bit uh, amber zelon. I'm gonna start it up here, pull down, get it. That eh, missed a couple there, so we're gonna try that again. Uh, pull it down. There we go. Looks better. So we're gonna bind this down. Eh, we're gonna go down about halfway down the bin, just past the barb of the hook. This is on a standard uh, uh, curve shank scut hook. All right, I'm gonna come back up just a little bit. I'm gonna grab our uh, olive brown goose biot. I'm going to tie this in what we call notch up. I'm going to take the tip, grab it right at the tip, I'm going to grab it and then I'm going to come back down, just come back down to the front of the tail just a little ways. And I'm going to go ahead and wind it, bind it all down, coming all the way back up to the front of the hook shank. I'm going to clip off some of those tag ends. Um, I'm going to grab my hackle pliers, uh, the, the goose biots, uh, you need pretty much a hackle plier to bind these. The first wrap is the critical one um, to make sure you get everything caught. These are a little delicate and once you get it caught it should just wrap nice and neat up front and by tying this in notch up you get a nicely smooth segmented body. If you tied it in notch down you would get a little ridge uh, on the trailing edge of the uh, goose biot. So I'm going to bring this on forward. And I'm going to get a crab it with my thread and I'm going to bind, bind it down. And then carefully come in and clip the excess material off of the goose biot. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and bind it down. Now what we're going to do is start tying in our uh, wing case material. Uh, the first one, uh, this one has two wing case materials. First one is a Mirage Opal Tinsel. We're going to bind it down. And then the second one is some gray floral fiber. I'm going to come in here and clip this. All right, let's bind all that down. Uh, the proportions on this fly I like are about 40% on the thorax, 60% on the abdomen. Now we're going to grab our dubbing. And on this pattern, I really like the muskrat. So we're going to dub a little bit on here. Okay, now we're going to dub up the thorax. I like to have a pretty predominant little thorax on this fly. There we go, got it back. As you can see, I'm leaving a little extra space at the head. Now what I'm going to do is flip this angle up on it just a little bit. This helps in aiding tying uh, off the material up here for your legs and your, uh, your wing cases. I'm going to pull the floral fiber first forward, then I'm going to split it. I want half on each side. So I'm going to do the far side first, two wraps, then I'm going to grab the near side, pull it towards me, two wraps, and then we're going to grab the Mirage Opal Tinsel. I'm going to bind that down. I'm going to come down towards the eye a little bit, and then I'm going to take it and pull it back and then bind it down. The reason I'm going to do that is this stuff is very slippery and it can pull out if you don't bind it back. Okay, got my got my head created, everything covered up. Grab the whip finish. And we're going to give it a whip finish here. Pull down, tighten your whip finish, 
clip your thread, clip your tinsel, and then cut your legs just on the legs, just past the back of the thorax is sufficient. And I'll show you a couple views. And I'll cut the trailing shuck also, about the length of the abdomen. And there you can kind of see the top and the underneath. There she is.